Good morning. There in the middle you can see the van park. We had a good uh, night's sleep. We're on the beach for a morning walk. Walk over to the harbor in a second. <laughs> She's happy. <laughs> and uh, Bo Hardy. Hey, what? Till uh, late, uh, there were uh, there was traffic, cars uh, driving by, and from I think seven this morning again. But in the night it was uh, fairly quiet. A lot of people walking now, everywhere. So I'm gonna walk up uh, to the harbor and check out uh, if there is uh, a little bar or something open here. We can have a few cappuccino. It is uh, quite warm. It doesn't only look warm, it is warm. First day, I left the coat uh, in, the, in the van and uh, I'm uh, even without a coat, I'm warm. But uh, yeah, you won't hear me complain, just. Uh, have to change in something uh, else later. Okay, we're gonna walk. It looks quite uh, nice, picturesque, the little harbor. Not only in the canals in uh, Amsterdam you find bicycles, also in the harbor on the Adriatic coast. <laughs> the water is uh, quite clear. Yeah, this is a beautiful stretch. There are a lot of people about walking around the harbor and stuff. So just wanted to check this out. Hey, Boo, liking it? <laughs> yeah, we're sitting in the harbor and uh, having a cappuccino and a croissant. So, uh, yeah, nice. Bo is having her breakfast. See if it's as good as the one yesterday. <laughs> Is it fine? Yeah. Come we terug naar de bus. Okay. Come further. Look what is parked here in the harbor. Very beautiful restored. Alpha. Nice. It uh, became quite busy down here, so uh, let's see if we can get out. There's luckily enough space behind the van. So I can uh, turn, oh this one is free, so I should uh, turn uh, right away so I can get out. <laughs> Safely I got on the road again from our parking space, it's always a thing when you're not parked nose to the road. And it became quite busy. Na 400 meter rechts afslaan. Daarna okay, was, neem op de rotonde de tweede afslag. Luckily enough room to uh, navigate and turn uh, so I could uh, enter the road safely. So yeah, it uh, was about 17 degrees in the shade. Yeah, the sun it's an easy 20. So yeah, it's a little bit hazy. It's not full sun, but. Temperature is good, so let's go. Another day, another adventure. Yeah, and while we have uh, about uh, three kilometers to go on this stretch of road, I thought it might be a good opportunity to uh, talk a bit about home, about what is home. Um, I saw a video from uh, some Dutch fan life friends and um, um, live in a camper it's a youtube channel and uh, they talked about the home um, they saw a video from an american couple about uh, 
Yeah, in, in the van life scene, uh, they always say like, home is where you park it, but yeah, is that true, yes or no? Um, I must say, for me, it, I think it's it's mostly true because yeah, I feel uh, I feel safe in uh, in my van and uh, Bo is very comfortable in the van. When we uh, started uh, this life of living in uh, my van, I always said to Bo, "Come, we're, we're going home." And in the beginning, the first few weeks, she looked at me and thought, "Yeah, when are we going home?" Because she still. Uh, figure the apartment being home but after I think about two three weeks she knew home was the van and she became more and more relaxed she always liked traveling by car so uh, but she became more and more relaxed uh, in the van and uh, now when I say come on we're going home she knows it's the van and she yeah she's She's relaxed and comfortable, and um, so that that's that's another thing. It's not just the home as is. So for me, the van, but it's uh, also where you feel comfortable. And I do feel comfortable in the van. It's my mm, yeah, my my little thing, my my cocoon, as you will. But um, yeah, it, it's not like everywhere where you park. Is home because of course I decide where I park the van and if I don't like it I don't park the van there so but still there are it's not that I have to go like uh, be in my birthplace well, like when I'm in the south of the Netherlands uh, when I'm there for about a month and I visited family and friends I want to go travel again so it's not really that I feel home home that I need to be there of course I feel home there because there's still family and friends but uh, I feel as much as home in yeah like France and Spain and now in this part of Italy and the few towns I visited I feel very comfortable and at home I'll go to a local bar and people are nice and friendly so that makes for me also the feeling of home and um, so yeah it's it's not just the home per se but it's also the area where you're at and in general I can uh, yeah I can really say that home is where you park it but it does count where you park your van so yeah that's how I think about it and uh, let me know how you think uh, you people think about home. What is home for you? And uh, of course, it's different when you're in an apartment or in a house than when you're living in a van like me, so uh, or a camper or a truck or whatever. So I like to hear your thoughts about it. We just uh, drove by one of those thermometers along the road, and it said 22 degrees. It's in the sun, of course, because my thermometer on the mirror, on the shade side, on the left, that says uh, it's uh, 14 degrees, so, but it's uh, quite nice in the sun, so, great. Twelve uur, twelve o'clock. Uh, parked up. We're gonna go to the beach and see if we can get something to eat somewhere. Yeah, hello. Hello.
Ja. Hè? Huh? Hij is dat. Is het de zee? Is het de zee? De zee? Adriatico. La mare. Boy just got a biscuit. Grazie, grazie. And myself. View. I sometimes get the questions where do you get your water and then it's not about the drinking water but the water for like washing or whatever and it's not that difficult on many places you can just find water like on a boulevard here on the beach like playgrounds like cemeteries it's fairly easy to find water especially when you're in uh, like a milder climate because they don't turn everything off for winter so yeah no problem yeah Bo uh, never has enough from the beach <laughs> she wants to go back in but we're not going back in we are uh, almost uh, back at the van we had a nice uh, walk along the beach had uh, a nice Italian lunch and it was just uh, me and the owners and their family in there I think they were officially closed uh, but I saw people inside and there was uh, the glass window was open so just sat down on uh, the chair outside and uh, yeah they were very friendly and they served me a beer it's 0.66 liters here in um, in Italy so uh, only 350 and then two plates of food for just five euros R really unbelievable but uh, yeah, I also th I think they were closed actually, so uh, the kitchen was closed and everything, but they had their own lunch, and I guess uh, I just got uh, leftovers from their own lunch, <laughs> but it was great, and just five bucks, so you won't hear me complain, so yeah, we're going to travel again. Getting back to the van, I wanted to show you guys, I talked about a few upgrades, this is how I normally open my van, but... Now it won't open because I've got an extra extra lock. Don't do that Maurice. <coughs> Could be a drain here. Yeah, it's like filming with one hand. So it's uh, just uh, extra security when you leave the van somewhere. Yeah, I thought I could uh, stay directly on the coast uh, for a bit, so I ignored the sat nav when she said turn right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I should have just listened because uh, after that, uh, because the railway tracks are uh, between the coast and this uh, national route, <laughs> I came to a lot of tunnels I wouldn't fit under, so it was one meter something or two meter ten or whatever. But I need at least. Um, to be safe, I would say 255 because the van is 247 and with the solar panel a little bit, maybe I can do 250, but uh, let's Na stay safe meter, at 255. Rotonde, so it took a while before I uh, <laughs> found the tunnel I could fit under. Right there. We're back on the SS16. Yeah, we're driving through Grotto Mare. Volg deze route nog vijf kilometer. But uh, according to a big sign uh, when entering this uh, town, it said uh, this is this town is exactly on the halfway mark from Italy. So probably halfway tr from the furthest point north to the furthest point south. I didn't know that, so learn something so you see from traveling you get smarter and uh, with it being five minutes to four we're gonna put the van on the side uh, in a bit and uh, see uh, what locations we can find for the night with the sun setting uh, between uh, or between something like 20 past 5 at least that was yesterday um, 
I want to um, park up like say between four and a half past four somewhere to find a uh, location so then I just put the van on the side take part for night out and um, find out what locations are uh, on the route so yeah we're gonna do that uh, in a minute by the way it looks very nice uh, with the trees and uh, to the right there is uh, like uh, hills I must say this is the first uh, village where the road is that bad that it's uh, hard to drive around uh, the holes uh, sometimes. Here it's still possible to go around but sometimes it really uh, isn't with oncoming traffic or parking or whatever. Now I'm on the other side so there is no traffic coming so we can do that but yeah this town it's the first town that it's uh, this bad I would say this stretch is reasonably again like you always see when you put on the camera but yeah I've got some uh, crazy potholes and uh, it's always nice in a road like this that you've got a car in front of you because the way that one is bouncing you know you know if it's a uh, deep one, yes or no. Na 300 meter, neem op de rotonde de tweede afslag. That uh, gas station, not because I had to fill up, but uh, to look at the park for night app for location for the night. And I found something a few villages ahead, so uh, it would be like 15 to 20 minutes. And uh, then it is a quarter to five, so yeah, let's see. Should be enough. Gras. That's it. Phew! <laughs> yeah, I forgot to uh, film uh, where we parked up. I'll do that if uh, there's enough light. When I get back to the van, it's about 200 meters that side, behind those buildings. But yeah. It's another uh, little town, another beach at the Adriatic, Adriatic Sea. I don't know if there is anything to do here, it looks very sleepy. Looks like everything is closed, but I think we'll walk uh, up to that side a bit and or that side. Yeah, the other side looks more promising. So, uh, yeah, Bo. Bo, Bo, hey, hey, stop making yourself full of sand before we go into the van. Yeah, so that was it, another day in Italy, and uh, yeah, you know how, uh, how it works, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. We walked by the van again and uh, still enough light to show you guys where we were parked at some sports complex. Uh, pizzeria on that side closed. There's some other thing closed. There's uh, like a traffic school for kids. Of course closed now. And here's a hole downstairs, ground floor level was all closed with all kinds of shops, realtor, kitchen, uh, sandwiches. To the end there, there are two bar cafeterias that are open. And uh, I'm gonna walk that way with Bo, because I saw some lights uh, down that street. I think this is like a little town where there are a lot of second homes, holiday homes. And I guess like 10% of the people are uh, 
are here and the rest is uh, just empty buildings everything uh, shut down shutters down cars tucked in under uh, the top and uh, stuff like that so yeah I'm gonna walk around a bit more I can't believe we're gonna walk around a bit more <laughs> see you guys tomorrow